Hello peeps, how are you doing? I'm here with the iPhone 8 and it's only showing the Apple logo, it's bricked. So what happened? Well, uh, this phone was running the beta 16 from Apple, the iOS beta 16. Um, it was installed via a profile that was given by betaprofile.com. Um, the system was working good on 16. Uh, it was on 15.5 and the upgrade uh, was done via an update that you get thanks to the beta profile. Um, but this morning, this phone was suddenly connected to a secured Wi-Fi that is as well in my range. And I was like, hey, how is that possible? I never connected to that Wi-Fi. I don't even know the password and, and the login from that Wi-Fi. It was a WPA station. This as well an open station in my list it was not connected to that one. It went to the WPA station. That requires a password and a user. So I don't know how that happened, but I was like, hey, <laughs> the iOS 16 is kinda a bit too, yeah, too beta for me. I can better be on 15.5. So um, I thought let's downgrade the device back to 15.5. And uh, I did a flash and after the flash, it just hung in this Apple logo. So we're gonna try to fix this, okay? Um, I did two flashes with iTools. Uh, maybe I really need iTunes, so we're gonna try it now with iTunes. Uh, we're gonna go for the one and only build that is available for this device, and that is iOS 15.5, alrighty? So let's see how to get out of this boat because this is iPhone 8, you know these buttons, they don't work like our previous devices. So if you as well uh, got this problem, then this video is for you. Welcome again to channel 48. My name is Puck, hope you're doing fine. Let's get started. <music> problem is how to get out of this mode well um, what you must do is connect your cable so it's connected to the computer okay the procedure to get out of this mode um, is you press the volume up quickly and then the volume down quickly release these buttons and then press the power and keep holding the power and yeah, in my case, it took longer to, to get out of this mode. I'm not pressing any other button than the power button at this moment. And as you can see, nothing is happening. So I'm releasing the power again, doing it again. Uh, volume up quick, volume down, press it quickly. And then hold the power button, press the power button and keep pressing it. Don't press too hard, of course. Press it until it goes off, and if it goes off, keep pressing, okay? That's very important. We're gonna keep holding it until we're gonna see a little computer. So keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Don't give up. If it's not going, try it again. Volume up, quickly, volume down, quickly, click, click, and then press power and keep holding. until it goes off. Keep holding, don't give up. There it goes. Now keep holding the power. Don't release the power, okay? You see the screen is black, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding, 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 and there we are. There is the computer. So now we are connected in a recovery mode. If you don't know this procedure on the iPhone 8, you're gonna press buttons until you get crazy. So this will as well be uh, the way how to fix effect 
any iPhone 8 that hangs in its Apple boot logo. Depends on the problem. If it's hardware related, of course, I will not be able to fix it. Now with iTunes, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna hit the shift key on my keyboard and then I'm just gonna uh, point to the IPSW that I already downloaded, the 15.5, and then iTunes is gonna do a complete new clean install. So um, why did it go wrong uh, and why why did I come into that uh, uh, boot logo that, that was just hanging there? Well, um, I restored from 16, uh, back to 15.5 with 3U tools but in 3U tools uh, in some way I did not select to do uh, a clean install to wipe everything from the phone it's mandatory that if you got a downgrade for instance from 16 back to 15.5 because uh, yeah for some reason that yeah you just want to be on a more secure os with no box uh, that does not connect to your neighbor stations without uh, you knowing the password you know making you effect uh, as well yeah it's it's not legal to just connect to a Wi-Fi that is secured with the code. So you can as well get in problems with uh, iOS 16, the way things went for me. Uh, so that's why I'm downgrading back. And uh, I can tell you that this downgrade uh, will go good uh, thanks to iTunes doing a fully clean install. Okay, it's uh, at this moment reading the IPSW and uh, soon we're gonna uh, as well take a look at the phone at uh, the progress it will reboot uh, the phone into the installer and then it will start installing and fix the phone and then some minutes later you'll be running it up again and so remember if you're gonna do a downgrade from uh, beta 16 back to 15.5 you will have to do a clean install if you did not do a backup uh, to iCloud or so I did not do any backup because this phone uh, is a new phone at least in my collection it's not a new phone it has a whole lot of cracks it's an old phone but um, it's it's a phone that I did not have in my collection yet so I did have no data on it and uh, I didn't have to make a backup for me it was just fine if i would do a downgrade to just get rid of everything again and this was in fact the shortest time that i was ever on a beta uh, build most of the times i'm using these builds for a longer time doing all sorts of things with it and then uh, yeah eventually upgrade uh, to the final build uh, but in this case yeah i was like uh, not encouraged too much anymore after seeing uh, the device being connected to a strange network in my range um so yeah that was a little bit disappointing and that's why uh, i'm going back and that's why i make this video to show you a restore uh, after a brick uh, that i ran into because i did not do a clean install in 3u tools that is an application uh, that you can as well use to flash uh, firmware to iphones and do many other things copy music you know all the things you can do really easy with that application so yeah most of the times people keep using that as well to flash but uh, with downgrades where everything uh, should be removed uh, yeah clean install um, yeah most of the times they forget to turn that on and then you can run into a brick that you just saw uh, an iphone hanging at least an iphone 8 hanging to the boot animation and nothing is happening so yo let's skip this because this is taking kind of long to look at the screen so let's go to the phone and there you can see that the progress uh, will soon start thankfully and as soon as the phone reboots the installation will begin at this point you should not touch the phone don't hold the phone in your hands okay um, this phone 
has a yeah a special way of putting the cable in and then it connects fine and you know you can do anything with it but everything with it but um the moment uh, it get out of that position it's not connecting anymore so that was as well a downside maybe i must clean the port out a bit with a brush i might do that later I as well clean the speakers sound was suddenly way louder so that was kind of really cool okay peeps i set up the phone at this point uh we installed and everything went right thank god phone is bad peeps look at that so yeah if you as well run into this problem um this is how to effect fix it the the the, the hardest part of this video was how to get out of that uh, boot logo that was stuck at the beginning of this video i think that was the most challenging part but on the other hand uh, yeah volume you you just click the volume up really fast tick tick and then volume down tick tick and then you start pressing the power button and keep pressing it and if the screen goes black keep pressing it you're gonna see the apple boot logo again keep pressing it then the screen will go black again keep pressing it and then suddenly you're gonna be in uh yeah in a recovery mode you see that so at this point i can just go ahead and set up my applications again that i have here in my purchases by the way not all of them are in there but most of them so i will just install them one by one so that's it peeps won't make this video any longer this is how to fix your bricked uh iphone 8 after downgrade um or maybe for some other crazy reason <laughs> yeah i hope this video was helpful in some way and uh, if it was and you fix your phone I'm very happy for you.